I bet you want your house to feel like home, to look stylish, cohesive, pulled together, just like your favorite homes on HGTV, Pinterest, or Instagram. But you don't know where to start, or you've tried and you feel like you've wasted so much time and money. Maybe you've Googled all the things and instead of helping, you feel more confused. So how do you decorate your home? In this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how to decorate your home in five steps. Most people try to decorate like this. They see a room they like on Pinterest and they think maybe that's how they want their space to look. They pin the picture and keep scrolling. Then they see another room they like and another and another. The problem is each space has different colors and styles and shapes and textures and patterns. Now they're confused. So they spend some time on Google searching for how to decorate articles because you know maybe those will have the answers. But the 195 million results that come up are articles with titles like 11 foolproof decorating tips or 52 best interior decorating secrets. They're filled with great ideas for various parts of decorating, but none of them say where to start and none of them share which steps come next, which equals more frustration and confusion. So maybe they try to make their home look like an Instagrammer's house. They go out and buy paint, a new rug, some pillows, maybe a new lamp or two for good measure. But when they get them home, those things just don't look right. Or maybe they go out looking for decor and become so overwhelmed with all the options that they just can't choose anything. Or maybe they want to use what they already have, but they just can't quite pull it all together. And no matter how many times they rearrange the furniture, the room still looks off. Now that they've wasted oodles of time and money, they're no further ahead. They're left scratching their head asking, why can't I just figure out this decorating thing already? Does any of that sound familiar? Are you stuck with spaces you don't like in your home? Are you wondering how on earth to do this decorating thing? Well, here's exactly how to decorate your home in five simple steps. Step one, find your unique style DNA. Finding your unique style DNA helps your design choices become clear and confident, turning scattered ideas into a complete cohesive style that's uniquely you. You do this by purposefully gathering inspiration and looking for similarities in style, color, pattern, shape, texture, and materials. Step two, plan your space. Form follows function, which is just a fancy way of saying things have to fit and serve their purpose and then they can look pretty. Create your floor plan and arrange your furniture based on the uses of the room, the people that use the space, and the room's focal point. Then utilize any existing furniture pieces or new pieces so that they fit your unique style DNA and your budget. I've got a free decorating starter kit that will help with all these steps and breathe new life into your home. There's a link in the description below, check it out. Step three. Add curtains, rugs, and lighting. We underestimate the design power that the right area rug, well-hung drapery, and some good lighting have in a room, while we overestimate the power of all those pretty little things that we want to bring home from Target and Home Goods or HomeSense or anywhere else. After you've got the floor plan sorted, the curtains, rugs, and lighting come next. Step four is to decorate the walls. That means paint, art, feature or focal walls, um, trim, wall treatments, anything like that. Like a builder patiently waits for the foundation to set, decorating your walls only after the essential elements, the furniture, area rugs, drapery, and lighting are in place ensures that you get your decor right without any more time or money wasted. And although it may seem counterproductive to paint after your furniture is in place, you really can't choose your paint colors well until the previous steps are done. And you can't choose the size of art that you need until the curtains and other things like that are in place. Step five, add accessories. Accessories are the finishing touches in a room, the final step, the small details, not the starting point or the main thing. Buying little tchotchkes and candles and figurines or vases or other decor can scratch a retail therapy itch. But if the rest of your space isn't finished, those decor pieces and accessories are only going to cause stress and mess. Wait to choose accessories until the rest of the steps are done and then 
don't overdo it. Unless your room is really large, you really only need a few throw pillows, one to three vignettes or collections, and a centerpiece on a coffee table, dining table, or dresser. You want a room that is finished, but not overdone or cluttered. Accessories are the finishing touches in a room. The final step, the small details, not the main starting point or the main thing. Decorating your home can be really fun if you do it in the right order. Step one, find your unique style DNA. Step two, plan your space. Step three, add curtains, rugs, and lighting. Step four, decorate the walls. That's the paint and the art. And step five, sprinkle in some accessories. That's it. That's how you decorate your home in five simple steps. If you like this video and want more ideas and inspiration for how to create a more stylish and organized home you love, be sure to give it a thumbs up below and hit subscribe so that you don't miss any new videos.